Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to St. Michael's e-learning classes. My name is Francis, sir, and today we will be solving the fill in the blanks, choose the correct answer, etc. of chapter 6 of Social Science for Standard 5. The name of the chapter number 6 is Climate Zones of the Earth. So let's solve the question answers, fill in the blanks accordingly. Question A. Fill in the blanks. Question number 1. Weather can be understood as a part of climate. Question number 2. Temperature governs the flow of winds. Question number 3. Equatorial region receives direct rays of the sun. Question number 4. Prairies experience moderate climate. Question number 5. Frigid zone is the coldest because it receives slanted rays of the sun. Let's see the next question. Question number B. Choose the correct answer. Question number 1. Which of these factors does not affect climate? Now my dear uh, children, I have given a tick mark so you can understand what is the correct answer for the respective questions. So the answer for question number 1 is C. Customs. Question number 2. The wind that blows from the sea to the land is known as, the, uh, the answer is option A, sea breeze. Question number 3. Moisture causes, the answer is B, humidity and makes a place cooler. Question number 4. What kind of climate does the torrid zone experience? The answer is D, hot. Question number 5. The temperate zone receives the answer is C. Slanting sun rays. Let's see question number C. State T for true sentences and F for false. Question number 1. As distance from the equator increases, the temperature increases. So it is false. Question number 2. Wind always blows from an area of hot climate to an area of cold climate. It is F. False. Question number 3. Humidity lowers as distance from the sea increases. The answer is true. Question number 4. As altitude increases, temperature increases. The answer is F. False. Question number 5. New Delhi is located in the torrid zone. The answer is T. True. Now let's see question number D. Answer the following in few words. Different Question number 1. Differentiate between climate and weather. The answer is climate refers to the atmospheric conditions existing for a long period. Whereas weather refers to the atmospheric conditions of a place for a short period. Question number 2. Name three factors affecting climate of a place. The answer is temperature, latitude and wind are three factors affecting the climate of a place. Question number three. Name the heat zones of the world. The answer is the heat zones of the world are torrid zone, temperate zone and frigid zone respectively. Question number four. Why does Nenital remains cool when New Delhi faces scorching heat? So the answer is, as the height increases, the temperature falls and vice versa. That is why Nanital remains cool when New Delhi faces scorching heat. Let's see question number E. Answer the following in detail. Question number 1. What does the latitude of a place tell you about the climate of that place? So the answer is, equatorial regions experience extreme climate. It is because these regions receive direct rays of the sun. These rays are intense. So, we feel very hot and sweaty in this region. When we move away from the equator, the climate becomes moderate. It is cold at the poles. This is because the places located in this belt receive oblique rays of the sun and are spread out over a larger area. So, it is less hot in these regions. Question number 2. Why is temperature one of the prime determinants of the climate of a place? So the answer is temperature 
is one of the prime determinants of the climate of a place because it depends on the heat received from the sun. The more exposed an area is to the rays of the sun, the higher is its temperature and vice versa. Question 3. Explain land and sea breeze with the help of a diagram. So the answer is, during the daytime, land becomes hotter as compared to sea. This causes the wind above land to become warm. Since the sea is cooler than land during daytime, the wind above the sea is also cooler. The warm wind above the land rises high in the air because it is light in weight. This makes room for cold air which gushes in from the sea. This is known as sea breeze. It carries moisture which makes the land cool. The diagram is as follows. So I have made a diagram my dear children. Please see it. During the night, land cools quicker than the sea. So the air above it also cools down and becomes dense. As a result, a high pressure is formed. This causes the winds to blow outward towards the sea. This is known as land breeze. So we experience sea breeze in the daytime and land breeze in the evenings in coastal regions. The diagram is as follows. So the diagram is here my dear children, please see it. Now next we come to question number 4. How does distance from the sea affect the climate of a place? So the answer is, like humidity, altitude also inverses the impact of heat. As the height increases, the temperature falls and vice versa. This is because the air while rising from the sea level becomes lighter and thinner as it climbs higher. This causes it to lose its heat carrying capacity. So mountainous regions enjoy a cooler climate as compared to the plain regions throughout the year. This is the reason that hill stations become popular during summers. Let's see the next question. Explain the heat zones of the earth and their climate with the help of a diagram. So the answer is as follows. The earth has three climatic or heat zones. They are torrid zone, temperate zone and frigid zone respectively. So let's see the first one, torrid zone. Torrid zone is also known as the equatorial zone. It extends from the Tropic of Cancer to the Tropic of Capricorn. North Torrid Zone and South Torrid Zone are its two divisions, lying to the north and south of the equator respectively. It is the hottest zone on earth. Now let's see the, the second zone that is the Temperate Zone. Temperate Zone extends from the Tropic of Cancer to the Arctic Circle in the Northern Hemisphere and the Tropic of Capricorn to the Antarctic Circle in the Southern Hemisphere. These are known as the North Temperate Zone and the South Temperate Zone respectively. Now let's see the third zone that is Frigid Zone. Frigid Zone extends from the Arctic Circle to the North Pole in the Northern Hemisphere and from the Antarctic Circle to the South Pole in the Southern Hemispheres. These zones are extremely cold. Now the diagram is as below. Please see it, my dear children. In this way, my dear children, we have completed the question and answers, fill in the blanks, etc. of chapter number 6 of social science for standard 5 respectively. Thank you.